Hey everybody, it's time for testing, testing, one, two, three. Getting ready for the FedNow service. Introducing the FedNow customer testing environment. Introducing the FedNow service customer testing environment. The overview of the FedNow service customer testing environment is coming. And we welcome to the stage the FedNow participants and service providers. But before you can use the FedNow service for real, you'll want to do a dress rehearsal in our testing environment. So you ready to do some testing? Ready to get that dress rehearsal underway? It's really a case of it's almost identical to the real deal. You'll get access to the testing environment as part over during your onboarding process. I really tell people you should think of this like your dress rehearsal for a play. You wouldn't want to perform in front of a live audience without practicing first, right? So you'll need to test everything. Test your lines, test your stage movements, test your props. I don't have any props, but test your props before you step into the spotlight. Or should I say, test your connection, your ability to send and receive messages. Because the Fed and all those other participants, they want to make sure you can send and receive at the volume and the velocity of the speed that we will all expect in a live environment. And remember, this isn't just a one-time thing. If you actually go and you make changes, especially major changes that could affect how you're using the FedNow service, you might need to test again. So set up both your testing and your production environments to be as close to being identical, that's, that's identical, and make sure your testing environment is mimicking as closely as possible, your setup, but don't get them mixed up. They are as similar as possible, but there are some different certificates and different connection points and cues. So there are some minor differences, kind of major, but differences that are there. Now, first though, the FedNow service required customer testing program. To complete the customer testing program, which is really your ticket to the main stage, there are a couple of steps. There is the certification preparation, and there is the certification of production readiness. Certification preparation, certification of production readiness. Now, if you're a financial institution, you only need to do this once for your entire organization, unless you make changes. And if you're a service provider, you only need to do it once for your entire organization, not for every single app that you go and connect to the FedNow service. But it's your responsibility to make sure all your apps meet the standards for certification. And if you ever need any help, remember the FRB Services Support Center is just a phone call away. Hello, FRB Support Center, can, can you help me? Yes, they're there to help you. In short, what we're doing is we're setting the stage for you to perform flawlessly with the FedNow service. And with a little practice, I'm sorry, uh, with some testing, you'll be ready for the big show. Now, here we go with getting certified with the FedNow service, it's a two-step guide. The certification preparation. Think of this step as preparing for the most important exam of your life. All right, don't worry, actually. The Fed provides you a study guide. They, they really do help you tremendously with this. It might feel like a robust curriculum, but it walks you through in this guide all the ins and outs of the FedNow service. And it's only for participants, this guide is. It's divided into sections. Each is focused on specific functionality. For each section, and your service provider will help you with this, you're given the objectives and the desired outcomes, plus the detailed test scenarios and the actions to be able to take. It's, it's really like having a cheat sheet or the teacher's answer key in advance of taking the test. The FedNow onboarding team, your service provider, they're your study buddies. They're holding your hands every step of the way to get you through this process so you're prepared for the big test because guess what? You're now ready for certification of production readiness. Now that you study hard, now that you prepared for the testing, it's time for your final exam, except it's, it's not a final exam. You can retest as much as you need until you pass. Yeah, you really can, you can retest. But in this step, the certification of production readiness needs to be completed within 30 days before you go live on the FedNow service. There are two parts to the production readiness too. The first part is the certification of messaging. And the second part is the certification of operational readiness. Got it? Certification of messaging, certification of operational readiness. Certification of messaging. This is like proving you can speak the language of FedNow. 
you certify that you can send and receive all required ISO 20022 messages for the specific participation type you have enabled in your profile. During the certification and messaging, we're looking for some smooth communication to take place here. Participants and service providers with authorized connection profiles, they need to show that they can send and they can receive the required ISO 20022 messages for that specific participation type. For customer credit transfers, there are three, three levels of participation. The lowest is, well, you're just gonna be receiving customer credit transfers, but you gotta be certified for that. A medium level is gonna be the sending and receiving of customer credit transfers. And the highest level, according to the Fed Now Service Operating Procedures, that's gonna be the sending and receiving of customer credit transfers and working with request for payment, RFPs. What about liquidity management transfers? If that you go that route, if you're working with those, you gotta be certified for that messaging. And there are two levels. The lowest level being just receiving liquidity management transfers. And the highest level being sending and receiving liquidity management transfers. Okay, for real. There's just the sending and receiving or just receiving. But if you're only supporting routing numbers with the settlement only participation type, you actually can skip the certification because it's like getting a free pass. You're, you're, you're just supporting it. Right, move on. Then there is the second part. That part is the certification of operational readiness. This is like showing not only do you know the language, you know the rules of the game. You certify that you understand the operating circulars, the operating procedures, and the technical specifications of the Fed Now Service operating procedures, and that you're ready to follow them, that you can follow them, that you know how everything works. In a nutshell, getting certified with the Fed Now Service is like preparing for well, in acing an exam for Fed new processing, you're going to study hard and prepare. You'll take the test, a lot of practice tests too, to make sure everything works. And then you show up and you're ready to play. And you play by the rules so that you get an A plus every time. And once you get that A plus, it's Fed now service graduation time. You completed your certifications with Fed now service. Well, now what? How now what? Well, the Federal Reserve Banks, as the administrators of your Fed now service journey they will review your certification of messaging. Basically, they're like your professors, unlike the famous professor, that are double checking your grades from all of the testing, double checking to make sure that all looks good. And if all looks good, you'll receive a metaphorical diploma or degree, allowing you to set up in the Fed Now Service production environment with support from your team, of course. I mean, we don't want you doing this alone. But what if you didn't pass certification? What if you're one of those that just didn't make it? Well, don't worry. Those professors, I mean, the Federal Reserve Banks, they will coordinate with you to figure out what's wrong and what's next. You actually have two options. One's pretty easy. Retry the certification, figure out what was broken, fix it, and move on. Or choose a different participation type that you have been validated for that you can do until you fix the part that you want. It may not be the major you initially wanted, but you can still graduate if you want to do it that way. And once you do graduate, you do receive a certification of operational readiness. Every financial institution, whether you're flying solo or working with a service provider, must get this certificate. It's like your professional license or access card to the FedNow service, because it showed that you did the testing, because it showed that you're operational ready, and it shows you know the language. And don't worry, you actually only need to do this once, kind of like getting your driver's license. If you're a financial institution with a service provider, you're still in the driver's seat. It's actually your job to ensure that the rules in the operating circulars, the operating procedures, any technical specifications are followed. So don't think it's all on your service provider that they're going to be there helping you the whole way. In summary, getting certified with the FedNow service, it's like going through college, acing your final exams with the you know, teacher's answers key, and graduating with that certificate. And whether you graduate with your chosen degree or you switch to a different one, don't worry. You're still going to be live on the FedNow network. And I really do believe everybody's going to graduate the way that they need to. It's not as hard as it seems. You can do this. Only in this exam preparation, you've got people helping you. You've got the service providers helping you. You've got the FedNow onboarding team. They're there with you every step of the way. And you get to enjoy that FedNow transaction processing because now, congratulations, class is dismissed.